Hi everyone, I'm Mary Bensel, Executive Director of the Van Wezel Performing Arts Hall, and this is At the Van Wezel. And it's sort of our holiday edition, isn't it, Miss Julia Mays, our fabulous marketing director here? <laughs> yes, it is. It's time for all kinds of fun stuff coming up, don't I you know. think? I know. I thought, you know, I was just ready to go on vacation in the summertime, and then suddenly it's, it's Thanksgiving. Done. I know. You know, Halloween's over, and now it's Thanksgiving and Christmas and Hanukkah and New Year's Eve and oh my goodness. And, but, and turkey on the table is one of your favorites. I, I know, know that. Yes, I know. We, we, we had a saying in the theater business, never book shows until there's turkey on the table. But you know, sometimes yeah. shows are too good to pass up. Absolutely. Like Glenn Campbell. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about I Glenn am too. Campbell coming. Because I, I presented Glenn years and years and years ago. But this is his goodbye tour, and I think it's so fabulous to have yeah. him, don't you think? Yes, I do, and I think it's a, a, actually a show for all ages, you know. And he'll and be here with his daughter also. And he, of course, the, the story is out there. Glenn Campbell um, has has um, Alzheimer's disease, and but he's doing really, really well. He's touring with his daughter, as you said, and it's it's something that it really has has really built up in him something that keeps him going yeah. and he sings all his songs beautifully i've heard and him he makes recently. it a little humorous as he goes so he he laughs at himself sometimes i so know that's very sweet and you know if, if if there's something i i must say please i i don't know about you but all these ads about the election come out see a show have oh a good gosh. time and get entertained get entertained <laughs> i mean you know uh, you know it's whoever wins wins but yeah. have a little fun you know and, and you so, know this is a good show to step out of your comfort zone that you always talk about yeah. which i think is a wonderful thing you know step out of your comfort zone and of course he had so many great hits and of course the show is on november 4th but the rhinestone cowboy yeah. and you Wichita know Wichita lineman yes or, and, yeah, just oh, lots just of good wonderful good shows, and it, yeah. this is a show that I um, we had up it was up in the Ruth Eckerd Hall area you know mm -hmm. last year and they said it was just a fabulous show so everybody come out and see Glenn Campbell and then Christmas really speeds up with the number one Christmas act Mannheim Steamroller always a great show oh, don't you think oh my goodness i love that show so much and it really puts you in the spirit and the really cool thing this year is they're starting the tour here at the Van Ways. Yes. So they're going to be here longer than just a couple of days. So I'm going to sneak into the theater and hear all that great oh, music. Oh, me too, because you know, all that sound, uh, new technology with the lights and the sounds, oh. the digital. And they do. It's going such to be a, marvelous. It just makes you feel so good about Christmas. And yeah. that one is on Friday, November 16th. So it really will get you in that holiday the spirit. spirit. And um, Mannheim is always like just a huge hit. And then we talk about bringing back old friends. Dave Cause, he I is just coming love back. Dave Cause, fifteenth year at the Van Wezel. Yep. Dave Cause and friends. And who are some of the people he's bringing this oh year? Oh my Jules? gosh! He, this year he has Margot Ray, and some of people may not be familiar with her, but she's fabulous. And um, Sheila E. Sheila E. I mean, he, she used to play with Prince, so. Um, I mean, we do, and um, David Benoit, who has been here before, oh, yeah, pianist, he's he is, fabulous. He is fabulous. Yeah. And then the winner of The Voice, the first season, is Colin. also. Yes, yes. Javier Colon or Colin? Javier Colon or Colin. I don't know which However one. you say it, he has a beautiful oh, voice. He's fabulous. <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, and I think Adam Levine coached him, and, you know, it was just, a, so it's going to be a fabulous show. And he does a lot of multimedia stuff, yeah, too. And I like Dave Cause because he lets his guests do a lot. And you know, instead of just it's hogging just a the great show. show. It's yeah. a great fabulous, show. Fabulous. And the funny thing is about it's a Christmas show. Dave Koz is Jewish. And so, you know, halfway through the show he always throws in a Hanukkah song and I mean And he's a joke just, or two also. Oh, my so. goodness. And he is just very funny. And it's yeah. that show is sponsored by the Hyatt and we're gonna have someone from the Hyatt talking about um, about their affiliation yeah. with us in our next segment. Absolutely. So that'll be it's fun. Really and so we have two shows. Two shows two opening, shows right here opening the, the tour Wazel, this year. This is, is great. Which is great. Great. So for the then, Van what's next? And then we have Clay Aiken, and this year he is going to present his holiday his holiday show, which he'll do tons of holiday classics. And I, you know he has a wonderful, wonderful voice. So yeah, he was I here think, before, folks, and his his show was 
phenomenal. And the set's going to be gorgeous. And, and a 20-piece orchestra. And a 20-piece orchestra. So I think people are going to be very pleasantly surprised. And I mean, this is on um, Black Friday weekend, isn't it? And yes, it's it is. on the Saturday night. So shop all day Friday and then Saturday night. And Clay has been on TV a lot. You know, he, he was the runner-up of Celebrity Apprentice. Yes. And, you know, he, he was also so performed in um, Spam a lot I know, on Broadway. I know. He was a riot. He was Coming a riot, to the Van Wazel. Which is also coming to the Van Wazel. <laughs> but Clay Aiken's show is, is, is a phenomenal yeah. one. Yeah. Um, and then we have probably one of my favorite artists yes. of all time. Um, Michael Bolton is coming. And, you know, I always think about Michael Bolton because he is just one of the nicest guys. And he has millions and millions of hits. And that's what's wonderful when you get... Um, performers coming at Christmas time, they not only sing their hits that they do, but they also um, they sing their, holiday yeah. music. And, and their it, version, which is, you know, you can take the same song and have so many different oh, versions absolutely. and it's still wonderful. And Michael Bolton is here on Friday, November the 30th. And Jules, um, how do you buy a ticket to the Van Wazel shows? What well, should people do? Oh, I think people <laughs> could be relaxed or they could come down and meet our box office in person. You can call on the phone at 953-3368. You can go to vanwazel.org, not .com, and you can sit in your pajamas, as Mary likes to do, and purchase everything you need. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm the type that, that wants to do it. And I, but I will tell you, folks, the cheapest way to buy a ticket is to come to the box yes. office because then you don't pay phone fees or, or, or internet website fees. fees. And yeah. you know, we've been cautioning people over the years, make sure you're on our website, www.fanwazel.org, because there are many sites that look like ours and they'll take a ticket that maybe is $50, and they'll be selling you a ticket for $150. Yeah. I mean, And we don't sell tickets for that amount, so if you have any discrepancy whatsoever, just give us a call, and we'll let you know whether that's Yeah, because true. last year, a ticket that was Jer for Jerry Seinfeld that was, you know, I think it was something like $89, and they were selling them for $1,700. Yeah. And then people come and see the show, and they get annoyed because the ticket will say what the real ticket price is. So, folks... Buy them on uh, our phone, 953-3368. Come to the box office or go to the official website um, because I don't want people to be taken advantage of. And we have so many great shows to talk about um, coming up. And we will be back with our special guest from the Hyatt. Yes, good. And welcome back to At The Van Wazel. I am so excited to have with us one of my most favorite, favorite sponsors um, from the Hyatt Regency. And we have someone new on the team that I'd like to introduce to everybody. And of course, they're sponsoring the Dave Koz Show, which they've done for many years. And so we're so thrilled to have you here, Christopher Levine. So welcome to Sarasota. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I've been here for a couple months now. Oh my goodness. I've, yes. I've. Uh... I've somewhat gotten climatized, but still working on that a bit. But you're from Canada? I'm from Nova Scotia originally. Oh my so, gosh. yes, I, I'm definitely used to shoveling my way through winter, but now we'll be shorts and a t shirt. Yeah, it'll so, be great. Yes, for sure, for and sure. And I also know you are a new father. I am a new father. Uh, my, my wife, Natalie, and I have an 11 month old son. Oh my He's gosh. He's almost walking, uh, and he gets along very well with my black lab. So. Oh, that's great. One big happy family. So you're going to have to introduce him to the water and the beach. Oh, for and... sure. He, he, he tries to swim already, aided, of course. But, oh, my uh, gosh. No, I think, I think he'll do all right. But I have loved working with the Hyatt. It's such a beautiful property, and they did such a great renovation. And you also have a new general manager on board I haven't even met yet. Can you tell me a little bit about him? We do. He joined our staff probably about a month ago now, before four weeks. His name is Bruce McDonald. He joins us most recently from the Hyatt Bonaventure over in Western Florida. He was there so that's for... not as big a change as you. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> he still had all the summer suits and everything. So, uh, But you know, he, he was there for a couple of years before that. 
Uh, he was up in the Northeast in the Boston area for a couple of years as well. So yes, he's, he's very much climatized and his family's down here as well. So he looks forward and uh, is making some great changes so far. And it's, it's great that Dave Cause is, um, is the show that you're sponsoring because we're opening the tour here in Sarasota. And I know he's even rehearsing on Thanksgiving Day. Can you imagine that? It's just like... He seems, he, he, he seems very dedicated. Uh, I personally have not seen the show yet. Oh, it's great. I'm very much looking forward to it. But, uh, no, well, every I, year it's a new show. Oh, so, it is? Yeah, because he brings different guests with him. So it's, it's not the same show at all every year. So it'll, it'll be something, and I guarantee you, you will enjoy it. But I wanted to, you to tell me about some of the other projects you have over going on at the Hyatt. I have to look at my notes and say, tell me about planting the seed. Planting the seed is actually uh, the brainchild of our chef and our food and beverage director, along with King Farms and uh, the three kitcheneers, Asanta Swire. Uh, basically what this is, it, it encompasses healthy, healthy foods locally sourced. Oh, great. So yeah, it, it definitely goes along with the Hyatt's way of looking at food both from the banquet and the restaurant side of things. Do they do that in all the different markets if they can? We definitely do that. It's definitely a corporate directive uh, to get people eating more healthy and have our hotels, whether they're owned, managed, whatever, to, to source locally and help out the local community and get the freshest produce. It's not frozen. It isn't shipped in from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. um, so we try to do as much as we can locally. Uh, and so what this event is, it's family friendly for all ages. Uh, we'll go out to um, uh, King Farms out in Bradenton and there will be hay rides, there will be oh, different food that. stations. Chef will be doing a couple of demonstrations. And is there a specific day for this? Uh, it is Sunday, November 18th will be the day. It will be an all day event and uh, all are welcome. And then you have a special kids menu, don't you? Does that tie in with this somehow? It certainly does. It certainly does. We want to get uh, children and uh, adults, uh, for sure, away from eating French fries and burgers. Oh, darn. And <laughs> <laughs> you can. You oh can. my God! No, I, that's the last thing I should be eating. <laughs> and, and while things like that are good in moderation, there's there's nothing wrong with things in moderation. Um, we've added a, a couple of different items to the menu, like. Um, build your own whole wheat turkey sandwich or um, build your own shaken salad. So it's basically a garden salad, but you can put whatever you want into the shaker, shake it. It's fun for kids, fun for adults. Oh, and yeah. then you put it right on, right on the plate with a low fat dressing and everybody's happy. And that sounds good because kids love to be interactive. Sure. And, and then you have two other things that I really like. Um, a, I have a dog, so, you know, it, and you have, I know you have pet friendly rooms. Yes. And then you have third, Friday wine. Third Friday wine event. That sounds good too. Tell me about that. Definitely <laughs> so, definitely so. It is a monthly event. Obviously, every third Friday, we bring in one of our suppliers and we'll probably taste six to eight wines, both obviously red and white, a couple of roses mixed in. And the chef pairs it with charcuterie, uh, different cheeses, different meats that really go well with that sampling of wine. So it, is, it's, it's, it costs $25 to get in. It's held in our Currents restaurant. We shut wow. it down. And uh, we normally get roughly 50, 60 people to come. And they all have a great event. Well, and I think you're going to get a lot from the Van Ways now we that are. we know about there it. We are. Good, <laughs> good. And, and, and again, you mentioned the pet friendly rooms. I actually lived in the hotel for two months. I have a black lab. She was the talk of the town for oh, two I bet. months. I bet. Definitely, both, both in the office and in the lobby. But you know, uh, we have designated rooms for pets just in case other people have allergies. We don't want a pet in another room where somebody might be affected. Uh, but it's uh, an additional $40 a night. And uh, we have the bed, the bowls, the treats, things like that. And, oh, there's, that's also, great. and, and there's also some extra things from um, the urgent care down the road. Um, and Chevette has been nice enough to put together a couple of different treats for the dogs. Oh, that's great. And the nice thing is, is it's not just, um, the Hyatt's not just from people that are coming from, you know, Philadelphia or no. New York. This is a wonderful thing to do for a weekend. I know a couple of our folks on our staff have, have um, rented rooms and, you know, you're looking over Sarasota Bay, you right. can enjoy on the weekend, you know, and go, go to the, the, you know, we have a special, rest, uh, special restaurants that are open and, mm -hmm. and we have a fair that's out there where you can shop, you know, on Saturdays. So 
It's a great thing for local people to do, wouldn't you say, as well? It is. It is, uh, it is one of the taller hotels in the area, and all of our rooms either face the harbor, which we have our own marina, or uh, it faces the bay, which is... And it, you have a great pool. Great pool with a waterfall. Uh, you can only get in if you stay with us, just so <laughs> but, but you can also bring your boat in as well, because oh, we, do, we, we have 32 marinas that can fit any kind of boat. So, so can you tell us, because uh, we're running out of time, but can you tell us how, uh, how do people book rooms? And you know, sh is there anything sp special if you're a Floridian? Or? Sure, sure. You can go to the Hyatt Regency, uh, www.hyattregency. Uh, Sarasota.com, or you can go to Hyatt.com as well. We can we can be found there, but you can go in if you're a AAA member. You can you can get a special dif discount. Uh, Florida resident rate, you can certainly get a discount there. And again, if you're coming by boat, we also have a float package as well. Oh, fabulous! Yes, and I I can't tell you I I can't highly enough recommend the Hyatt because it's a gorgeous gorgeous property. And you know, just by speaking with you for this short time, you sound like you have a great winning team, and it's going to be a wonderful wonderful year for you here in Sarasota. And just think, at Christmas time, you're going to be warm and toasty <laughs> on the beach, right? On the beach. Well, thank you so much, and. And I I'm, can't wait to meet your, your son and your dog and your wife and the whole family. So Beautiful. welcome. Thank and we will be much. back in just a minute to At The Van Wazel. Did you know City of Sarasota drinking water is very safe? Tested every two hours. Delivered right to your house. Much more affordable than bottled water environmentally friendly and it tastes good city of sarasota water safe affordable environmentally friendly And welcome back to At The Van Wazel. Chris was so great from the Hyatt. Oh my gosh, he's so fun, isn't he? He is, and I think, you know, those family-friendly menus yeah. and, and the pet rooms. I like the kids it's, it's, on kids. It's and, great, you know, it's great, yeah. and, and they're a good partner. We have a, a number of nice hotels in this area, and they're one of our special favorites. And we're ready to frequent some of their, um, uh, their Friday Fridays, Fridays things. Yeah, we would like it every Friday. Our Friday, Friday. fests are done, so we yeah, have Friday to have something to take on up Friday. on Friday. My goodness, what do you do without <laughs> Friday Fest? <laughs> <laughs> we go to the Hyatt. We go to the Hyatt. <laughs> but anyway, we have more holiday shows coming up, and this show is you know, I have had so many people ask me about the Oak Ridge Boys because, let's face it, they've been around forever. Oh, they have. They have. Longer and than us. Longer than us. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> no, that's not true. But, you know, it's December the 4th, and as we talked about before, they're going to sing some of their hits like Elvira and, you Bobby know, Sue. Bobby Sue and, and, you know, but then they also put a whole new twist on, on Christmas. Yeah. And uh, the Oak Ridge Boys are just, I think they're one of America's most favorite, favorite groups because they've been around you so long. You can't dislike them. It's no. It's just hard not to come and see them. Yeah. Yeah. So come and see Bring them. Bring the whole family. Bring the whole family because th <laughs> this is going to be great. And then we switch. We have somebody, for, you know, we have Michael Bolton, we have Clay Aiken. Then we have, you know, for people that like swing music, I we do. have, yes, I know, that's your favorite. <laughs> in fact, if you come, I can guarantee you, you will be seeing my friend over here dancing in the aisles. I mean, you know, the ushers try to curtail you, Julia, but you just get out of hand. Yeah. And you yeah. were just like dancing away. <laughs> but we have the King of Swings, and it is a great swing band, and it's a contemporary swing band because they, they'll play all the Dean Martin hits and Frank Sinatra, you know, and all those, Nat King Cole, and of course all of their holiday favorites. But they also throw in Michael Buble and, and some other yeah, more well, modern. Be, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's and a you lot know, of fun. The younger people, when I say younger people, I'm talking like maybe 35 to 45. All those individuals, you know, there was a yeah. time where swing came back and with the Michael Bublé's, et cetera. Right, and right. And I think you'll have a lot of people that you enjoy know. that show. And I think it's going to be a wonderful show. It's playing a number of the theaters here in Florida. And I, the music is just so it's infectious. Invigorating. And that, yeah. that's going to be on December the 5th. And then we go <gasps> right from the music to Julia's <laughs> favorite Broadway show, Catch Me If You Can. And, and I just, oh my God, I just love this show on Broadway. I love the movie. I know, you went crazy over the show on oh, Broadway. And yeah. of course, this is about the famous um, DreamWorks movie that Leonardo DiCaprio 
you know, and of course, Fra Frank Abengale Jr., mm -hmm. um, he masquerades as a pilot and he masquerades as a doctor. And I don't know how the heck he did all those things because, you know, as the saying goes, if you can't get it, make it up. Uh, there you go. <laughs> you know, but and so, of course, ultimately, it's a it's a it's the story about the FBI agent, you know, chasing him and all the different things that happened. And the musical numbers, folks, it was on Broadway. It was a huge hit. And it's just all, all sorts of gorgeous girls, you know, dancing as the stewardesses and the nurses. And you just fell in love with it. I did. Well, and, it, it, and of course, the airline that was involved was Pan Am. My mm -hmm. dad worked for Pan Am. I was very familiar with Pan American. And uh, it, it's it just, just a fun show. It it's is. a great show, even though there, I mean, there is a story to it, and it's not a sad story. It no, it actually it's a happy ends story. up with the greatest ending. Although, we don't recommend anybody out there be, try to become a doctor or a pilot and fake it today, because yeah. I don't think it'd be as happy yeah. uh, an ending. Because Frank Avengale Jr. is working with the FBI now. I so. know, so he knows all the <laughs> tricks. But, yeah. you know, with ever since 9 11 and everything like that, I think the the climate is a lot, you know, not as, yeah. as, as forgiving, shall we say. But that's December 6th and 7th, and it's perfect for everybody in the family. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful um, time. And then we go right into another um, fabulous Broadway show. And, an um, oldie but goodie. An oldie but goodie. And it's West Side Story. I love West Side Story. It's the Story. 50th anniversary. And the music from West Side Story, I mean, you can't go wrong. You can't not love it that's not proper but you just can't not love it yeah and of course it's based on the old you know it's the story of romeo and juliet and it's set in new york city and it's it's just all the fabulous i mean you know stephen sondheim and and leonard bernstein i mean the score is just i don't suppose you want me to do a song from it right well yes i think that would... when you're a jet you're a jet all okay the way. thank you <laughs> You want to they sing Maria not, for us? They have not asked me to be in the show. They have not? No. Well, if they had heard that audition, I, I, I I'm think sure you they would have been on it there right away. <laughs> <laughs> that would be too funny. But um, we also have, then we change it up all oh, over again. And we have Winona Judd coming. Yep. Her and rockin' Christmas. Her rockin' oh. Christmas. And I think if anybody can rock this hall, it's Miss Judd. Yes, it is. And she is going to sing her hits as well as holiday songs. And, of course, you know, Winona has been in the news. Um, we have to give shout-out to her and her husband. They were um, the avid motorcycle rider, and um, Winona's band, um, the band's called The Big Noise. Her husband was the drummer, and they had a, uh, he had a horrible motorcycle accident. Yeah and really hurt his hand and um but his, doing well now but he's doing great you and can check him out on facebook they yep have facebook page. and um you know the, the, this is what performers are when bad things happen they just you know um they stick together they stick together yeah. and they pull for each other and so it is going to be a rocking time at yep. the van Wazel. and she's gonna she's going to sing some of her um biggest hits also so come prepared to have great great music and that show is on December 22nd and we forgot to mention that the Sarasota Ballet is going to be here with a, no, a new Nutcracker and it's right. all on a theme um, about Clara running away to the circus and it's a, it's got a special um, Everybody Sarasota should come and, and support that it's Nutcracker is really important um, for my holiday season and of course we have two of them this year we have um, the Sarasota Ballet's version and they're going to be here um, before Christmas on the 14th and 15th of December. And then we have the Great Russian Nutcracker after Christmas. That's right. And then we have a few other Christmas shows that, that are coming up um, that we're going to talk about a little bit more in, in next month's show. But A Christmas Carol, which with Nutcracker and A Christmas Carol, you know, um, it really makes the holiday season Absolutely. great. Absolutely. And, and then look for the Mayor's Feed the Hungry, too. We're going to, we're going to be supporting that again this year. Great. And everybody did such a wonderful job of donating, and we're attaching a Christmas carol with that. And, and I, I think we're, we're going to have um, Jungle Jack. Hannah is going to be here with animals, yeah. and I can tell you, I can't wait for that because for my vacation this year, I went to Africa, and, you know, I, I was in the, in the safari jeep, and we were surrounded by you know lions and a lioness walked right by me and elephants and it was just so cool so i can't wait to see him and the animals yeah, and and be exciting that'll... and then we have the midtown men and a salute to vienna on on new year's day I'm excited about the midtown men oh the but midtown we'll talk men. more about that yeah and we also have um a new year's eve party here 
Um, Madison's did such a great, I think yeah. there were over 500 people here last New Year's Eve. So, but we need to remind everybody again about how to get tickets. They can yep. come to our box office um, and we're open, you know, we're open, uh, you know, it's hours, normal hours during the day, but when we have a show, folks, we're open later, so you can Which come. Which is almost every night. <laughs> Which is almost every night. We know because we are here, we're almost, here every night. almost every night. <laughs> and, and then that number is 953-3368. You got it, girl. I, it's, I've worked here five years, and I cannot remember our phone number. But it's you awful. Doing, you've been doing <laughs> great. And then www.vanwazel.org. Yep. You can buy your tickets, like you always like to say, in your jammies in the middle of the night, you know. Or, you know, come to the box office. We have some really friendly folk there that'd be yeah. glad to show you where your ticket would be and on the screen and everything. So this has been a great, um, this will be, I should say, a great holiday season and we'll be looking forward to all of these shows. And, and I can't urge you enough this will make you uplifted and happy and yeah. just, it'll be a great year. And happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. <laughs> and we'll be back next month at the Van Wazel.